Hey guys, Stage here, and I just want to make a video because I'm really bored. It's a Sunday night, nothing to do, so make video time. Actually, ten annoying things I hate about people. Let's get started. Here we go. Number one, when people talk to you on a social networking site, but they don't talk to you in person, such as you're talking to a friend, you're just like, hey, what's up? And they're just like, hey, what's up? You want to hang out tomorrow? I'm just like, sure. When? Oh, at lunch. How's that for you? Oh, I'll sure and then you go up to them at lunch the next day and you're just like hey so what you want to go hang out now and they're just like oh sorry i had something planned like, are you kidding me or when you're talking to someone on facebook or something and you're just like they're they're like hey what's up and i'm just hey what do you want to talk to me and just like i don't know you're i think you're cute oh thanks cool that's cool I'm just like yeah so how are you and you just like get in this whole conversation and then they don't talk to you in person ever like ever and you're like bro what the heck it's annoying I hate it <sighs> number two when people try to change who they are by changing what they dress like for example i am a country girl at heart i love everything about country i'm such a girl for i'm such a sucker for country people anyways so, um, it just be, so, just because I don't dress like it doesn't mean I'm not, just by the way. But, anyways, just because you go from this whole skater look or this whole stupid look and you change yourself completely by, like, shaving your head or doing a different hairstyle and dressing in, like, a plaid shirt and jeans and some boots does not mean you're a new person and you're a different person with country stuff. No. Just stop it. Stop it now. Number number three. When people cannot read but they offer to. Such as, teacher says, who would like to read this section for me? Oh, I would. Alright. So, that's the statistics that they say that, um, that, um, what's that word? That's 15%, honey. No, do not offer to read if you don't know how to read. I'm trying to get through class so I can ace this class, you know? And get out of high school, right? Thank you. Number four. When people act dumb just to get someone's number or get someone to like them. Um, can you, can you tell me, um, that, what, what this is? Oh, excuse me? You know the answer. You've been getting an A in this class the entire year, and you've been acing every single test. I don't think you need help with that, dummy. I'm sorry, sweetie. My hair. <sighs> Number five. They act, people that act different around other people. So they go from, you know, talking to, hey, what's up, Sally? Oh my god, did you hear about that girl last night? And then, like, other people start coming, and they're just like, and then you're just like, oh, hey, what's up, John? Um, yeah, that's cool. I'll, I'll text you tonight, you know? Don't do it. It pisses people off, and they don't know who you really are, so they like you for someone different. Number six, <laughs> when people try to completely change their self, themselves for, like, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their best friend, you know, um, yeah, you can't go from being super, like, happy, good, enjoyable to completely, like, stupid, and, yeah, you can't go from smart to stupid, really. Honestly, once you're smart, you're pretty much smart for a really long time, unless you get into some extremely terrible mental accident, and it, like, completely damages your brain, and you go from being super smart, genius, to dumb, dumbass, really. You can't really do that. I'm sorry. Number seven. When you're in the movie theater, and someone, uh, is next to you, and they go over, they lean over to you, and they're just like, hey, did you see that, man? Did you see that? Did you see that part? And she's like, dude, I did not just come to this movie 
to see everybody. You know, I didn't pay six dollars to come in here, you know, just and get some popcorn and just sit here and do nothing. Yeah, I came to see the movie. No, duh, I saw it. Or when some some people are like in front of you, just talking, just just going at it while the movie's just going. The movie starts. They're just like they're keep going at it. I'm just like, bro, hey, 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 you two, you please, can you can you be quiet, please? Thank you. I'm trying to watch a movie. You know, I paid probably that ten dollars to get in here with free popcorn. You know, I'm trying to enjoy something. It's up there. I paid a lot of money, so uh, can you please be quiet so I can enjoy it? Thank you. I don't think I'm going to do that every time there's someone talking in the movie theater, because that would probably be, like, a million times in my entire, like, month of going to the movie theater. Oh, God. This next one. Number eight. People, I don't want to see your chewed up, throw up food in your mouth when you're eating. Do not chew when you're talking with your mouth open. I don't want to hear you talking with your mouth full of food, and I don't want to see you talking with your mouth full of food. It's disgusting. Really, honestly, it's gross. So, uh, stop. Thank you. Number nine. When people use like in every single sentence they say. So, like, I was at the movie theater yesterday, and, like, this guy was, like, staring at me the whole time, and I was, like, blushing, and he was, like, at the movie, that, at, like, the end of the movie, he, like, came over, and he's just, like, hey, can I have your number? Like, you're really hot, like, so let's hang out sometime, you know, like, and I was just, just kidding. I, I kind of lost interest in this conversation, like, about a million years ago when you were not talking. Sorry. Do not use the word like in every single sentence. Five times. Five million times. It's not a run on sentence. There are probably over a million, there are like millions of words out there in the English language and the Spanish language and every other language that you can use that is not the word like. Thank you. Next up, swag. Just because you say you have swag, does not mean what you think it means. I triple top dare you to go search what swag means. I mean, secretly we are gay. They made it up in the 50s. So, just saying. Just saying. That, that's just a tip. But anyways, so number 10, number 10, is swag. And I hate it when you act like you have swag and you're all cool and you're sagging your pants, which are on the ground. Um, sir? Can you please pull your pants up? Because I'd rather not see your butthole. Thank you. Now, bye. I don't want to see that to every single kid in my school. So pull your pants up. Stop acting like you're all cool because I can see your boxers. Sagging. Would you like to see your mom or your dad with their pants on the ground? Really? Just because their song doesn't mean you should do it. Okay? Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looks like, ooh, with your pants on the ground. No. Stop it now. Thanks, guys, for watching. I love you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Mwah!